Guillermo Medina. This is the Culver City Police Department. Make yourself known. Hands up. Come down with your hands up. Body camera footage shows what led up to the deadly shooting of a California man after a cell phone in his hands was mistaken for a gun. Put your hands up. Gun in hand, gun in hand. Gun in right hand. On December 18th, 2022, Culver City Police Dispatch received a 911 call for a man who was waving a gun around. The caller, later identified as the man's wife, said he suffered from paranoid schizophrenia and that she was scared. Does he look like a building resident or just an unknown guy that just kind of came in? Yeah, he does, but he does, but I know that they've arrested him already. He's paranoid, I see he's paranoid schizophrenic. Okay. You know his name? Guillermo. Gotcha. You know his last name? Medina. The caller said her husband, 39-year-old Guillermo Medina, was on, quote, day three of the insanity. Okay, so he lives with you in your unit. He, no, we, we broke up. I filed for divorce. He's back and forth between here and his mother. And I don't know what the hell he's doing here. This is the third night in a row he's shown up. Gotcha. I think he's got a gun. Wait, wait, he's saying he's got a gun or you saw a gun? No, he's, just, he's holding something in his waist. Okay, so it's in his waist. He's not waving it around. No, he was. He had it in his hand, and he was like shaking his, like waving his hand. You know, like when you walk, your arms kind of swing. About three minutes after that 911 call was placed, Culver City police officers arrived on the scene. They called for Medina to come out with his hands up. Guillermo Medina, this is the Culver City Police Department. Make yourself known. Hands up. Come down with your hands up. Instead of walking toward police, Medina got into his vehicle and led officers on a 59-minute chase across West Hollywood. During this pursuit, CCPD says Medina made dozens of hazardous vehicle violations, like driving on the wrong side of the road, running through stoplights, and speeding. At one point, dash camera video shows Medina's vehicle ramming into a stopped car at an intersection. Investigators say he pushed the car out of the way into oncoming traffic to avoid police. Dog over here, he's paranoid schizophrenic. Dog here. You have a gun? In three days, he's a gun. What's he doing with the gun? He's been walking like this, waving it. As several officers chase Medina across Los Angeles County, other officers continue to interview his wife. She says Medina told her, quote, we need to end this finally. Were you, were you terrified he's gonna hurt you? No. <laughs> I, I need to know because my partner is right now in pursuit. My kids are in the house. Okay, so were you terrified he was going to I wouldn't let him in the house because I was worried. I would not let him in the house because I was worried. So get, um, listen to me. Let's take a deep breath. Were you terrified he was going to hurt you with that gun? Yes, I was. Later, Medina's wife tells officers that in the past, he made reference to dying in a shootout. Still read it, Romaine. Romaine. Oh no, is he in Hollywood? I believe so. Oh god, he's gonna kill himself. Oh my god, he's gonna kill himself. Who? He's gonna kill Inga Park. Why? He's gonna kill himself. He's gonna be every. Is there something you know that I should know? No, he's going to park. Is he ever going to die in a shootout? No, right, he's going to park. Medina's car chase ends after the vehicle crashes twice and is damaged. Body camera video shows Medina getting out of the vehicle and running off. Stop! Stop! Police! Stop! Stop! Stop running! You're gonna get shot! Stop running! You're gonna get shot! Stop running! Officers chase Medina and yell for him to stop. At one point, an officer can be heard saying he is reaching for his waistband, and later that Medina has a gun in his hand. He's reaching his waistband. waistband. Yeah, I got him. Reaching his waistband. He's reaching his waistband. waistband. Just moments before Medina is shot, one officer can be heard briefly saying cell phone. No phone. After Medina is shot, officers determine he was holding a dark cell phone in his hand. A replica firearm was later discovered when his vehicle was searched. After the shooting, officers performed life-saving measures on Medina, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. From here, four separate investigations into the officer-involved shooting will be conducted. Medina's family has since filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the Culver City Police Department seeking compensation and punitive damages in the shooting.
Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.